Hey guys, and welcome back to Nightcry. When we last left off, we were exploring the island as Leonard here. And we've discovered kind of like a cabin on this strange island. Uh, we've just saved our game. Let's keep exploring, shall we? Well, we've got everything we need to have. What have we got here to examine? These cracked boards have been left to rot. They appear to have gathered dust over the years. Very droll. A candle stand has been placed on the shelf. Except for melted wax on the shelf, there is nothing out of the ordinary. Well, all right then. Fair enough. So what do we have here? Looks like another piece to the mask. Those people I saw along the mountain pass in the caves were wearing this mask. This one is split in half, though. I can't use it. Oh, but you can. Well, that doesn't look good. Well, if we try and escape, we get a hilarious death scene. The exact same death scene uh, as we got earlier in the radio station, except we have some weird shadow nonsense going on this time. And we find ourselves at yet again a dead end. Oh, it didn't even say dead end. Curious. All right, well, let's load. And this time, Let's try not to get horribly murdered by the uh, shadow creature, shall we? Okay. Yeah, we've seen that. But this time, we're going to smash the mirror. Because apparently, that solves our problem. Okay. And now... What we can do is we can use super glue on the mask. Crack mask has been left on the desk. The men I saw along the way here were wearing masks just like this one. Its primitive design and the fact that it was chiseled out of rock suggests it was imbued with occult significance. It was probably made by a unique religious culture of the kind almost entirely unheard of. It's oddly specific. Did you, did you glue it? Of course you didn't. We have to click that multiple times as well. Hmm. hmm. That should do it. It should do. It's yeah. very good super glue. Right. I should be able to use the mask now. Kind of a cool looking mask, if I'm honest. Mask of the Faithful. Excellent. Well, that's everything that we need in here. Let's go back outside. I suppose we probably could save it, but there's no need. I say with utmost confidence. Ooh, it's very dark in here. There we go. Caves are usually dark. So I guess that's nothing out of the ordinary. Let's explore this way. It's definitely a cave. Still no trace of bears. Ooh, hello. So the light we could see from the boat was coming from this giant bonfire. A crowd of those people wearing masks are gathered over here. I fear I won't be able to keep out of their sight much longer. No, we won't. We need to put the mask on. Um, if we don't put the mask on here, we just get the same old death scene that we've seen before, where a crowd of people maybe they won't notice it's me from a distance approach us. It is actually. Uh, classified as a different death scene. Now, if we look at these bodies, eventually they will start twitching. Which, I guess, means they're not quite dead. Yeah, he's twitching. Seems rather awkward, if you ask me. Let's go have a look at this guy. The guard seems to be glancing over from time to time, but there's no sign of him being suspicious. Thanks to this mask, I don't stand out in the group. The group probably is not aware of everybody's side 
size and attire. If that is the case, I can't see how they're able to maintain order in the group. Hmm. Magic, Leonard. Magic. Let's get out of here. There's another guard there, but we can't interact with him. Ah, looks like we've got another log cabin. Well, it seems like that's our next port of call. I don't know why he takes the mask off. I'd have kept it on myself, but hey. What the hell do I know? If we go straight out here, we get murdered. But we need to examine this mobile phone on the table. Somebody's left their smartphone lying on the table. A name, most likely the owner's, is displayed on the unlock screen. Will Anderson, if I had the ship manifest, I could determine who he is. I'll add his information to the contact list in my smartphone. It may come in handy. So, excellent. What makes me laugh about that is apparently just by typing the, the person's name into your phone, that's all you need to get their details. Uh, I mean, sure, I guess. Right, let's save the game. We can skip that, thankfully, mercifully. Now, what do we have in here? Now we've saved it, I suppose. We can go outside and get moided. So there's a man standing guard by the back door. I'll have to get past him somehow. Yes, we will. Although, I thought we could just walk out here. No sign of the guard leaving his post. Pretty sure he would have been able to hear the uh, flap on the door squeak. Can we really? I, I could have sworn we could get killed doing this. Alright, well, whatever. Where there's a will, there's a way. Anyway, let's keep moving through. So we need to go through here. And we need to grab this rope. This rope is important. A rope. I may have to go Indiana Jones on someone. So I'm going to hang on to this. Yeah, maybe we will. Maybe we will. Let's go upstairs. He's not the fastest at moving, but he's getting on in years, bless him. He's also got a bit of a gut to heave around. I remember those days. Right. Oh. Would you look at that? Is somebody sterilizing their false eye? Whoever it is must be the owner of this place. I bet they're holding the keys to unlocking this mystery. I've got to let the students waiting back on the ship know about this as soon as possible. Yep, so let's make a post about it. Ooh, sushi. Ugh, no thanks. I actually do like uh, vegetable sushi. Or, you know, non-seafood sushi. Dear students, it is possible a person with an artificial eye is involved in this. Be very cautious if you find such a person on the ship. Oh, well, let's post. There we go. That should be enough to tell all of my students to get to safety. We've done our part. Anyway, there's a load of words coming up that I can't read. The shelf is lined with books with the same title. This Is this the Hermetica? There must be more volumes than even the largest of anthologies. If these are all copies of the original Hermetica, no, that's impossible. They were probably conned into buying a fake. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lipas, Levi, Agrippas, The Three Books of the Occult Philosophy, and the Nag Ham Hamadi. Uh, codices. All these books seem to be on the occult. The rest are mostly Russian. Unfortunately, Russian is Greek to me, so I can't even understand the titles. Well, if we search that again. This is, yeah, somebody wrote this by hand, although I can't make out the smudged portions. There are 
something is of great sacrifice and pursuit over the last 200 years, overcoming the fear of death. All of it is the creation of the adherent something. The disassociation with the world comes by way of the something charm. Oh, that skipped. Hmm. This is either the diary of a madman or a poem of some kind. Trying to make heads of tales of this is just a waste of time. Are you sure? Probably not the worst thing to examine. This is a stuffed dog. No, it's a wolf. Some of the fur has fallen off, showing that it is not being properly maintained. Well, that seems to be a theme, Leonard. Deformed frogs and other animals, as well as fetus-like masses of flesh, are preserved in formalin. Ah, well, let's grab that. Well, I recall a British collector showing me this in the past. His was a darker colour and much skinnier. If memory serves, they call this the Hand of Glory, a magical item made of corpse wax, said to repel evil. Putting aside whether it is truly holds magical powers, it's quite an interesting subject of research, nonetheless. Well, we're going to keep hold of the Hand of Glory, which looks like it's got a D20 stuck to it. Pretty sure that's all we can do here. Now, if we try and go out of the window, we're going to get murdered. Yeah, that guy seems to be grunting away. Guards here, I could get down this way. Hmm. If there were no guards, you say. Just as I feared, a lookout. I can't go back to the clearing. What should I do? You should be able to come out here. Uh, use the rope. There we go. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to go. All Indiana Jones, I suppose. Not the most efficient way, of course. Careful now, Leonard. That gut is definitely slowing him down a little bit. Oh, you clumsy old oaf. Oh, I think you're about to be losing plenty of weight. <laughs> Some of these people have very strange bodies. Now imagine if you didn't take that mask off, Leonard. All right, and that leads us to a dead end. Where's it gonna load us? Let's have a look. Aha. Did you request help via the radio? Did you get the gloves? We did. I like the way it kind of tells you uh, how to get the other paths. That's kind of interesting, to be honest. Did you make a post using SNS? So we need to get that. Okay. Let's continue. Where's it going to put us, though? Hopefully we're going to be upstairs again. Ah, no, we're going to be here where we saved it. One second. All right, let's try that properly this time. So we need... Ah, I need to make a post, don't I? Don't have anything to post about. Oh, yeah, got to examine this. There we go. Right, let's make a quick post. There, that should encourage my students to be more careful. Well, they can't really be much more careful, can they? And if we examine this... He's going to realize there's a way down. However, what we need to do is make a distraction. Luckily, we can ring uh, that phone downstairs on the table. I don't know if these guys are like zombies or what, or just mouth breathers. 
He is thick, though. Right, anyway, we've got him distracted. Let's chuck the rope up. And make our escape. Although, I guess we can skip this scene because it's exactly the same. We still fall on our ass. Now, let's break free to the well. Not really sure why Leonard thinks going down the well is going to be his safest bet, but hey, whatever. I've seen the ring. Hmm. It's very deep. I can see a faint light coming from the bottom, though. It's not the moonlight reflecting. This light is man-made. Well. The rope seems sturdy enough. I should be able to use it to ease my way down. I really do need to do something about this belly of mine, though. I don't want to repeat that episode coming down the stairs. Now that... That's a hint. Now, if we... um use the grippy gloves, then we're going to get down safely. If we don't use the grippy gloves, well, you'll see. Suspicious tunnel. Uh, I could just... Oh, Leonard, you clumsy fool. You're about to. <laughs> now what the scissor walker was doing down there, I have no idea. But, uh, you know, ours is not to wonder why. Dead end. Now where's the game gonna throw us? Oh, that was actually an ending that the game decided to skip. Okay, no matter, I can replay it here. Because technically we got this now, one. The latest news on the ship that went missing. The Oceanus had been sailing off course for almost a week, but it was discovered today near the Caribbean Isles. The investigation team found no crew members and no passengers aboard. We are told they seem to have vanished. Searches of the ship's interior have not revealed any clues of how this incident occurred. It could be said to be the greatest mystery of the 21st century. Well, I very much doubt it's the greatest mystery of the 21st century, but sure. Uh, also, did you clock that guy's lip syncing? One of the stretch goals for this game was uh, realistic, natural-looking lip-syncing. Uh, yeah, that, that didn't really make it into the game now, did it? Uh, they succeeded that stretch goal as well. Right, let's continue. Let's see where the game's going to stick us. Oh, sweet. Yeah, she just just stick us out here. All right, so let's re-examine this. And this time, we're going to use the grippy gloves. Like so. So now we just have that little extra bit of grip. So if you didn't get those grippy gloves, you are literally in a dead end here. As long as your uh, game had actually saved correctly, you could go back though. Huh? A suspicious tunnel. Just... <laughs> Saved by the gloves. 
this time. Look at this PlayStation 2 looking texture. All right, so now we're in some kind of mysterious underground cave. Now this is Indiana Jones. Well, let's just walk through. Uh oh. That's not good. Now I'm not sure how we die to ghost hands, but I'm not going to sit here and question it. <laughs> We're just going to accept it. Now I can understand being killed by the zombie hands in the original Resident Evil 2, but ghost hands? Really? Okay, game. Whatever. There is also another death that we can get there, which is similar, but different. A perfect little place. Now, remember, we picked up the Hand of Glory, which we're going to use. Apparently, we can set it on fire and use it to ward away evil spirits, but we're going to fail the QTE. And the clumsy bastard blows it out. Okay, it's actually very similar. I thought it was a little different. Dead end. Right, let's do that bit properly now, shall we? Third time's a charm and all that. Come on, game. See what I mean? Just going through all the menus and just reloading the game is slow. Everything about this game is just so slow. No, 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 no. Stupid dickhead. Right, no, we don't want to burn the mask. Burn the hand of glory. Which makes me think of something else that I'm not going to mention. Right, let's go. Let's try not to breathe on the candle and put it out this time. I actually like this corridor. It's pretty cool. It's one of the highlights of the game, if you ask me. Admittedly, it's not saying much. like I made it across in one piece. I like the way we can keep the hand for later as well. Not that we ever need it again, but you know. Anyway, let's keep going. Ah, this looks curious. Let's get the light going. Got a couple of stiffs hanging. Let's have a look at those. Ugh, this is disgusting. The bodies have been hung upside down and cut in many places, allowing the blood to flow freely into the vases. Or the vases, depending. The corpse is slightly pale, indicating that most of its blood has been drained. Yeah, I like the way you see the throat slit there as well. Uh, that's a surprising bit of detail for this game. We've also got a sarcophagus. A, magic, uh, a massive, sturdy, constructed rectangular box lies in the center of the room. A mysterious room and coffin-like box. And what an antique-looking setup. I hope Christopher Lee isn't sleeping in here. Oh, that's age. Was Christopher Lee dead by the time this game was made? 26... I'm not sure. Christopher Lee, come on. What's in the box? The box. Ah. Jerome. Really? Jerome's shoulders are weakly rising and falling. It seems that he has been put to sleep with some sort of drug, but his life does not seem to be in immediate danger. Okay. What's this? 
There are num uh, numerous scars on Jerome's back in some sort of pattern. The red scars imitate flowers blossoming on his back. Did the people on the island do this? Wait, these scars seem to be much older. Hmm. Jerome, eh? Geometric patterns have been drawn all over the entire floor. A magical square, but I can't see the whole picture from here. Well, let's go up the stairs. See if we can get a better vantage point. Hmm, I can see the entire image from there. Just as I thought. It's a magical square. Magical square? It doesn't look like much of a square to me, but whatever. Isn't... This isn't... A black silhouette is cast over the magical square. I hope I'm wrong. But does this silhouette represent the Oceanus? If so, the rite will be performed on the ship. No, wait. If that was the case, they would have gathered at the... They would have gathered at the island with no need to board the, o the Oceanus in the first place. Is it possible that this was a test run? That the real ritual wouldn't take place here, but instead on the... Yes, it makes sense. The Oceanus must be the site for the ritual. Then my students are in grave danger. I need to get back to them. Okay, I mean, that's a hell of a stretch, but sure, let's go with that. A dagger. The design seems to ignore utility, so it must be an item similar to Anthame. It is similar to... what the hell? Demiri Jakari. Demiri Jakari. A dagger used by the Nepali shaman. The rituals of these people perform must be a, a syncretism of various occult elements from around the world. Well, there we go. Shame we can't take the dagger. Hmm. This curtain is swaying slightly, perhaps caught in a draft. But before that, I need to check the room a little more thoroughly. Nope. No, we don't. We need to get out of here. Now, though it shows us leaving on our own, supposed to be here. you'll see. I don't know. We just have to wait. <clears throat> Professor, who's that? He was held captive by some strange men. Don't worry. He's alive. Quickly, back to the ship. They're targeting the Oceanus. <gasps> the Oceanus? What do you mean? I can explain later. We need to hurry. While you're at it, can you get this man a jacket? We can't have him freezing to death. Yes, sir. Where are they going to get him a jacket from? Somehow, we've made it back. We have no idea how many of them are on the ship. We'll have to eliminate... Ah! Ah! What was that explosion? Well, that's not good. Hey! Get back to the ship as soon as... <sighs> well, there's some Scooby-Doo nonsense. August 18th. Ah, so this is much earlier in the day. This game jumps around the times, uh, timeline, which is not great. But anyway, with that, guys, we are on the final chapter of the game. Uh, chapter 3, we're playing as the final character, Rooney, who's an interesting character, but she has the dopiest, most stupid run animation of the whole bag so far the whole cast it's just ridiculous like they gave up um this <laughs> this is a bit of an interesting start to you know after that somewhat action-packed almost fun adventure that we just had uh, it's very anticlimactic to be back here on the ship but it does pick up 
So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.